This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Several breaking developments tonight in the coronavirus outbreak. The first, a major announcement from President Trump. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Also breaking, New York City's St. Patrick's Day Parade now postponed. More breaking news to tell you about the NBA tonight, suspending its season until further notice after a player tests positive for COVID-19. And a big announcement from actor Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson. The two now in isolation, both saying they have the virus. Meanwhile, these are live pictures from Kennedy Airport. Business as usual there tonight, but come Friday at midnight, it all changes. The U.S. closing its borders to parts of Europe and not to Americans. A very different situation than what the president initially said tonight. And now there is big confusion. President Trump tonight imposed drastic new travel restrictions on people wishing to come to the United States from any of 26 Western European countries. For the next 30 days, only Americans and green card holders will be allowed into this country if they are traveling from those 26 Western European countries. The United Kingdom is not affected by the travel ban. From the Oval Office tonight, the president announced his boldest steps yet to combat the nationwide spread of the novel coronavirus. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The restrictions include people and cargo and will be in place for at least the next 30 days. The United Kingdom, though, is not included in the new travel ban. The president did seem to blame European inaction early on for cases that migrated here. And despite record drops in the market recently, the president says the economy is sound. This is not a financial crisis. This is just a temporary moment of time that we will overcome together as a nation and as a world. We can't just wait anymore. Governor Cuomo has said the president's lack of leadership has resulted in too few tests. Home of the largest cluster of coronavirus cases in America, there was no waiting at the barbershop, no one drinking at the local pub. And even with all the unsettling news these days, no one buying papers at the newsstand. And if we stray into fear or panic or hysteria, that's ultimately self-defeating and it leads to bad decision making. And there's no reason for fear. The seriousness of this virus hammered home tonight in a way few could have imagined. The National Basketball Association, pro basketball, tonight suspending its season because of the virus. How long will it last? Nobody knows yet. The NBA just one of many big changes to sports today from this coronavirus. Sports anchor Ryan Field with the latest tonight. Ryan. Bill, as the day's events unfolded, you got the feeling it was not a matter of if, but when a sports league was going to have to halt play altogether. Tonight, that time had finally come. The NBA announcing it will suspend play across the league at the conclusion of tonight's schedule. That decision stemming from the game that was supposed to take place in Oklahoma City between the Thunder and the Utah Jazz. But before the game even began, Jazz center Rudy Gobert had been taken to an area hospital where he tested positive for the coronavirus. Once that happened, the league made the decision to call off the game and then halt play throughout the league until further notice. The NBA will use the upcoming hiatus to determine the next steps going forward. The NCAA also making an historic decision today, announcing the upcoming NCAA tournament will be played without fans in attendance. We'll have more on that story coming up later in sports. Shade? Okay, Ryan, thank you. And more breaking news, the iconic St. Patrick's Day Parade in Manhattan now also postponed because of the coronavirus. Governor Cuomo making the announcement late tonight. 259 years and never canceled, not even once. One year when there was a blizzard the Grand Marshal marched up Fifth Avenue, determined to keep the street going. But yes, it all ends next week. Another casualty of the epidemic. The St. Patrick's Day Foundation held its annual gala in Midtown tonight with its 259-year tradition threatened by a global pandemic. Late tonight, Governor Andrew Cuomo said the potential for large-scale transmission of COVID-19 is a risk authorities are unwilling to take. There's going to have to be major shifts in society short-term. Long-term will be okay, but short-term, there's going to be major shifts that government is going to have to enact. We all want to be part of it. It's the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. 200,000 marchers, 
2 million spectators, larger than any parade anywhere, including Ireland. But with so many events being canceled across the nation and around the world, the fate of this year's parade seemed inevitable. Too many people crowded together in a time and place where authorities were urging New Yorkers to avoid close contact. Tonight, parade organizers say the governor's recommendation that the parade be postponed was regrettable but understandable. Parade President Tommy Smith. You have to be okay with it. You have to listen to reason. You can't just go out and bull your way up the avenue and say, hey, we're going to do it whether you like it or not. You know, you have to be logical and you have to have the safety of the people of New York in mind. And late tonight, the parade chairman, Sean Lane, released a statement accepting the governor's decision, saying, quote, we look forward to celebrating the parade with the entire city at an unspecified later date. And then there is this involving the coronavirus. The actor Tom Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson testing positive for the virus. Hanks tweeting the news saying, recording now, Hi folks, Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit tired, like we had some colds and some body aches. End quote. The post includes a picture of a rubber glove in a garbage can. Hanks also wrote that he and Wilson will remain in isolation as long as is deemed necessary. Now, this story is changing so much just within the past three hours, and it's going to keep changing. And we invite you to stay with us on air, online, and download our mobile app as news continues to break on this virus outbreak.